here is King, who uh, quite modestly calls himself a Manchester United fan. King, good morning to you. Good morning, Jim. How are you guys doing? Well? Good. Good King, morning. Good to Perfect. have you on. Thank you very much. Um, I want to speak to um, Mr. Jordan directly in regards to kind of his assessment of Gareth Southgate's tenure. As someone who is kind of, you know, got great business acumen as, as Simon does, um, we all know that anyone in any job should be judged against KPIs, key performance indicators. Now, if we take um, Gareth's tenure, we would say that probably he overachieved in the first World Cup. He potentially overachieved in the Euros and potentially this World Cup that's just passed, I would say he's probably performed that part or maybe slightly less than what we would expect it. But Simon, would you not say then over the course of the six years, if he was someone who you employed, he has over-indexed on his KPIs? OK, well, let's look at that and look at the opposition that he played against in those tournaments because I have repeatedly said since 2018 this fixation on what he's achieved against the opposition he's played it against is not an observation that leads me to the conclusion that, to use your terminology, the KPIs that I would have put down on him have been, mm-hmm. have been basically overachieved against. Look at the opposition in 2018. Look at who we played against and suggest to me that at any given time there wasn't a balance of probability that England would have over- overcome those opposition and so we duly did. So with no, that in no, mind, it's, in difficult for me to, it's difficult for me to follow your argument of saying... In 2018, I would argue, you would argue as well, there was no real expectations of England. Would you not say that? No, that's rubbish. That's the media okay. version of events. That's the oh, media version of events. Expectation. So you think there was high expectation against Gareth and you think he performed just at the level he should have at that World Cup? I, I think that the, 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 the wonderful thing that Gareth Southgate had was that the England national team was on the floor because of some putrid performances in 2016. The debacle mm-hmm. that Sam Allardyce enabled him to go in, get, get himself involved in. And then an expectation of... Uh, you know, mm. more reasonableness from the media without the hysterical over-egging of the pudding going into a World Cup in 2018 where we played teams like bloody Panama. King, let me ask you, at the Euros at Wembley, Wembley King, King, at the Euros at Wembley, were England expected to beat Germany or did you think Germany would beat yeah. England? I'm glad you mentioned that, Jim. You still with us, King? Yeah, yeah, the final question I would just ask... Um, oh, wait, we'll answer that is, one. What did you think about that fixture? Did you think oh, it would be Germany? Germany? I think we, I personally think we, we performed better than was expected and we beat them more handsomely than we thought we would have, I believe. And I also think that Sorry. if, if, if uh, Simon's only KPI is winning the World Cup or winning the World Cup, then every... every no, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not my KPI, King. Would be, ...would be fired. Well, look at the World Cup of 2018. Let's look at it. I thought we'd beat yeah. Tunisia. I thought we'd beat Panama. I thought we'd struggle against the Belgians, so we duly did. I thought we'd beat a, an injury-beset Colombians without their best team. I thought we'd beat the Swedes, Swedes, and I thought that we'd have trouble against the Croatians. So where in those KPIs would I have been disappointed or over-exuberant? Because, because, Simon, you can only base it on past performances, and there's nothing in England's recent history before Gareth that would suggest that they would have done what they've done. Would you agree with that? Well, based upon the based upon the opposition that I've just given to you, and based upon your observations about my view on it, yeah. I'm looking at it and saying, okay, would I have expected our our team, irrespective of the past, the past doesn't okay. necessarily dictate the future, does it? Otherwise, you'd consistently stay with what you've done previously. You change things to affect outcomes. So I've now changed, put a manager in place with a great generation of young players, looking at my opportunities, going into World Cup, thinking Panama and Tunisia. I'm going to win those two games. I'm going to qualify. Okay, I'm going to play a Colombian side. They're not. They've got their best player out for the tournament. I expect to win that. And you're asking me to say that ultimately I should then be suggesting that I should be pleased with that because previously we set ourselves a low standard okay, okay. Kingy, and, let's, and kept let's on take achieving it, let's, against let's it. Let's go away from 2018. Let's move it to the Euros. Yes, okay? very let's do first, that. Very first game. Who do we play? Croatians. Yes, and what do we do? A we beat them. Old we and beat underachieving them, Croatians. The finalist from the previous World Cup. We yeah? did. Is that progression? Um, depends if you're if you're looking at the Croatians that a game in you isolation would have to or in that look, moment in time. To, to, to put your argument away, is that a game that you wouldn't I, have expected? I to would win? have expected England not to have lost that game. Oh, so you wouldn't have Croatia the World Cup finalists just to well, just ask me you want to answer it for me? Well, I would have well, expected I them think not you're to have just lost that game. The argument to suit King, your listen, I would have expected them to beat the Scots and they didn't. Before we got a very good Scottish team, Jim. No, very much so. Yeah, let's hear from Darren. We put the checks away, didn't we? Darren, we're in the company of Arsenal Invincible Martin Keown. Darren, what do you want to say? Hello, lads. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Hi, Darren. Um, hello, mate. Um, yeah, I'm with Simon on this. Um, Gareth Southgate, his in-game tactical decisions at Impetum 
Uh, he's championship minded manager at best. Um, anyone can put that le- a strong eleven out with that, ele- with that England squad. The amount of money that gets pumped into that setup is a king's ransom. So they're the most sought after players on the planet. They're prolific Premier League and Champions League winners. Um, as I say, I lost faith in him from uh, the Euro final. We're getting battered for 65 minutes. It took for him to make a change after he had scored a goal. Um, yeah, for, for, and for me, I think it should be Brendan Rodgers should be dangled a carrot. Southgate should have gone after he got smashed by, was it Hungary or Bulgaria, 4-0. Um, and they should have Hungary. started. OK. Darren, listen, thanks for your time and thanks for your call. Martin, take us to the break. What do well, you just finally that, on I, think, I think that was rubbish, to be honest, Darren. Uh, <laughs> Darren, you, to, to say that he's a championship manager? No, sorry, got that one wrong. Um, well, he is actually. We got to the Euro, <laughs> We got to the Euros final. No, you did. We you got did. to the Euros final. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think that was a pretty good achievement. I, I agree. In that game, um, we went one 0 up, Jim, and tactically we were wrong, but I can understand that Someone's because we were winning the game. We're winning the game and they didn't score, did they? They didn't equalise until no, the 80 bashed, something they, minutes. No, they just bashed us up so for 40 minutes. So they stuck with those tactics and we changed it to a five in that final. We, changed, we played a four throughout the tournament. And I think we've gone away from that now. So I do believe the manager's growing and developing. Everybody, everybody. It's because he's only done 80 man- games as a manager, really, pretty well. And I think you're doing 60 as a manager in the Premier League. And if he'd have been a manager for longer, Jim, I think it was, all of this would have helped well, we'll England and himself to be more successful quicker. Okay. We'll see, won't we? We shall see. It's all about opinions, as we always say. Come up to 10 to 11.